No. So you can tell from the thumbnail. Um, I got something really good. Now, starting off before I uh, pulled it using it heavily, I only used like th three other heavens before. That before was a Celestial. Oh my god. A Hades. Okay, I'll take that. And a Galaxy. Oh my god, this is either Twilight or Galaxy. Dude. Oh, it, oh it's Galaxy. Yeah. Alright. Rest, dude. Now, as you can tell, those are not the best heavenly pulls besides Hades because it did allow me to make the, the uh, But, during my fourth heavenly, <laughs> I, I absolutely, like, cooked on it. Now, I went from absolutely cook to cooking because as of right now i've basically 750,000 rolls in my best without counting the star scourge um changes for making it 10 mil was actually hades which is only 6.6 .6 million and now compared to some of my other friends who have basically the same rules around me they have you know uh ethereal which is 1 in 35 million they have arcane dark 1 in 30 million and had a lot of things that I had around the same roll range. Now, when I used this heavily potion, I was absolutely expecting Jack, just like the last time. Prior to this, I did not have a good experience with heavenly potions. My friends didn't. Uh, they kept pulling Undefines, you know, Solar Solstice, super, super, super bad things. And I, I just got really, really lucky. Now. What I was hoping to get out of this heavenly was something basic, maybe something like, I don't know, maybe something like Hypervolt. I really liked Hypervolt and I thought, I honestly thought I got it at first before all the, like, everything else came in. But then I saw, I saw the, the fancy cutscene and I'm like, oh, I actually got something good. It's just crazy on, you know, I got something that I actually really wanted because my top threes for this game had to be like Exotic Apex, Matrix, and uh, Chromatic Genesis. So I'm, I'm really glad that I actually was, you know, able to pull it.